Welcome to another episode of Stay In Tune TV, where I will be bringing you some of the latest in celebrity news and gossip, trending topics, current events, and more. If you have not done so yet, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, I got a couple of stories I want to share with you guys today, so let's get right into the video. So Ryan Henry, who we all know from Black Ink Crew Chicago, has reportedly been caught with his hands in a cookie jar. Ryan Henry has been accused by his best friend of sleeping with his baby mama. So Ryan Henry's best friend also shared that Ryan Henry allegedly threatened to kill him after he spilled the beans. And I'm also going to share with you Ryan Henry's response to all of this. So Ryan Henry's friend took to social media and shared this. He says, I've been debating over a week about sharing this. Everyone says don't run to social media. We run to social media for our joys but hide our lows. Well, I'm at my lowest point I've ever been in my life. I found out last week via my son's mother's text that her and Ryan, my best friend and father to my godson, have been effing each other over a year and a half. It took so much of a toll, I end up overdosing last week. Do I want to kill myself? No. The overwhelming pain and me being distraught led me down a path I had never faced. Being that yesterday was Mental Health Day, I decided to share this. So the caption reads, This ninja threatens to kill me over effing my son's mother because I told Rachel. He thinks I want sympathy for the internet. Nah, nigga, people need to know the truth. I can't tag Nina. She blocked me. LOL. So he goes on to say, both of my sons have been affected immensely. Caden didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve this. We were brothers. This isn't for a show, which everyone seems to think. Nah, this is my life. If you know or follow me, you know I hold my son's mother with the highest regard as well as Ryan. They did this to me while I fought cancer. I'm broken, hurt, confused, and so many other things. It's been a week and she's tired of talking about it, lol. I can't believe either gives a F about me, period. My son asked to go to Ryan's but says I want to see the boys, not Ryan. He says he doesn't want to see Ryan because Ryan and mommy did something to you. He's four. Why is this in his life? Ryan made the mental health post it, but destroyed mine. So then best friend goes on to post these text messages that he says are between Ryan and his BM. And then after that, I'll show you guys what Ryan had to say. You wake up and you still broke, you know what I mean? So, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, show the face on that, but uh, yeah, man. So, he's definitely. He's got to have this TV shit, this internet shit, get you fucked up, you know? I wish I would spend all day on the internet looking for some motherfucking. For some motherfucking sympathy and shit, and then wake up still broke tomorrow. Y'all gonna make something happen. Oh, I was at. It is what it is. And with all that shit, you know, ain't nobody gonna do shit. How about that? I don't think I was with the athletes. I was an athlete. Show me a nigga that's gonna do something. My father know. You know how, right? That's one of those stones. So we know that. I was in college. I'll be back on the city tomorrow. in college. There's no way I'll be here. Otherwise, aspire to inspire. Well, shut the front door. Well, damn, Ryan. You seem to not have any remorse. I just want to say that as the seasons went on the Black Ink Crew Chicago, I noticed that Ryan just started really feeling himself. He comes off very cocky. And all I got to say is with friends like that, who needs enemies? I also want to say that there's just a certain caliber of dude that when he gets back into a corner, wants to bring up money. You know what I'm saying? What does money have to do with it when you grimy as hell? I'm sure that they probably have both done dirt together. 
You know what I'm saying? If Ryan has seen his best friend do dirt, knowing that he's in a relationship, Ryan probably felt like if he don't respect this BM, then why should I have respect for their relationship? However, there's just a certain code of ethics that you're supposed to have. You know what I'm saying? Principles that you live by and just boundaries that you don't cross. And if Ryan can't refrain from sleeping with his best friend's BM, when he's lit the way he is and he has all of these females on his coattail, then dang, what wouldn't he do? That's my question. That's not to let the BM off the hook either. Granted, if this story is true, she also comes off as very sneaky, grimy, and disloyal. However, like he says, he does hold her in high regard, at least on social media. He seems to have very strong feelings for her. Their relationship seems to be very complex and complicated, and I wouldn't be surprised if he forgave her and took her back. So the question I have for you guys is, will you be tuning in to the next season of Black Ink Crew Chicago? I'm sure the producers are going to find some type of way to use this situation to promote the show. And also, before we move on to the next topic, what do y'all think about Best Friend bringing this to social media? Do you think that he should have kept it private? Do you think that he cared more about blasting Ryan than he does about healing and rectifying the situation? Or do you feel like it's his truth and his story to tell whenever and however he wants to? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. All right, let's get on to the next topic. Y'all, if anyone was to ever ask me who was my top five favorite MCs of all time, Scarface is definitely in that list, unequivocally, without a doubt, maybe even my top three, easy. So next up, we're going to talk about the Houston rap legend, Scarface. So Scarface took to social media in hopes of finding someone who will volunteer to donate their kidney. Scarface has been open and honest in the past, stating that he suffered from diabetes, an enlarged heart, sleep apnea, and kidney failure all at the same time, which is why he made the decision to live a healthier life. So T.I. stepped up in support of Scarface and offered money to anyone who would donate their kidney. Also, the music exec, Jack of All Trades, and well-respected boogeyman of the music industry, a.k.a. Mr. J. Prince, also stepped up and joined T.I. in support of Scarface, offering a monetary gift to the potential donor. My prayers go out to Scarface, and I hope that this all works out in his favor. He has so much life in him and has always come off as someone who's very down-to-earth, charismatic, great personality, and someone who loves to give back. In fact, he ran for Houston City Council in hopes of giving back to the community and creating a better environment, but unfortunately, he lost the bid for a seat. So yeah, y'all, I'll definitely be keeping Scarface in my prayers, and I hope that this all works out in his favor. Before we get out of here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like to add. More importantly, remember to stay blessed, stay in tune, stay safe, and stay out the way. Until next time, take care.